Time is defined as the sequence of events that any one event has to any other, such as past, present, or future. Things that have already happened are referred to as the past. Things that are happening right now are referred to as the present. Things that have yet to happen are referred to as the future. Time is also a measure of the duration an event takes. Each and every one of us has a limited amount of time. We each have 1,440 minutes per day. We each have 86,400 seconds in those days. The number of seconds and minutes we each have in any given day is the same for each and every one of us. I can't get any more seconds in any given day than you, and you can't get more than me. That number is finite. It has a limit. It has a beginning, and it has an end. The only variable is how many seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years we each get during our lifetime. That total amount of time each and every one of us gets to be alive is not the same for each and every one of us. I might get more seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years than you, and you might get more than me. Despite this, the amount of total time each and every one of us winds up getting is still finite. It has a limit. It has a beginning, and it has an end. Another of time's variables is how much we get done during the finite amount of time each one of us has to be alive. I may get more done during my lifetime than you, and you might get more done than me. Despite this, the amount of total things each and every one of us winds up getting done is again finite. It has a limit. It has an end. All of these things are given. The thing that is not a given is how well each and every one of us will use that given amount of time to get things done. It is possible for someone to live half as long as you, yet still get twice as many things done in their lifetime, despite having only half as much time as you. It's also possible for you to live half as long as someone else, yet still get twice as many things done in your lifetime despite having only half as much time as that other person. How much time we ultimately have is mostly out of our control. How well we use that limited amount of time we do wind up having is very much in our control. We can't control everything, but we can control a great many things. The things we can't control is a topic for another video. The things we can control is what we're going to talk about in the rest of this video. Here they are, as promised, the four reasons to not waste time. Reason number one, we have plenty of time until we don't. Time is finite. Once time has passed, it's gone forever. You can't get it back. When we're young, we think we're going to live forever. Heck. I'm 63, and I'm in the best health of my life, and I feel like I'm going to live forever. It's hard for me to imagine a time of slowing down. It's hard for me to imagine a day when I'm going to cease to exist. But guess what? No matter how excellent my health is, no matter how great of shape I'm in, there will come a time when I do slow down, and there will come a time when I cease to exist. I was born with a start date and an end date. I don't know what that end date is, but it will come. The same thing applies to you. You were born with a start date and you do have an expiration date. You don't know what it is, but it will come. That thought can be scary, but it shouldn't be. That thought can be depressing, but it shouldn't be. Why is that? is because we can use law number six from the way of excellence system and look at things a different way. Law number six states, sometimes life requires a change in perspective. One's previous life challenges have made them into the person they are today and given them the potential to develop a fuller perspective as a result, provided they learn from said experiences and move on as opposed to dwelling on them and looking back. 
Thinking about how we each have a limited amount of time is one of those times when a change in perspective is required. Instead of focusing on the fact that we have an end date, we should focus on the fact that we are alive and that this is a tremendous opportunity for us to get things done. I wake up each and every day and consciously choose to use my 86,400 seconds to do excellent things, to spread excellence throughout the world. I could choose to use it to be depressed by focusing on the fact that 63 years of my life has already passed. Instead, I choose to focus on the fact that I now have 63 years of experience and that I can use that experience to do excellent things and to spread excellence throughout the world. You should do the same. Reason number two to not waste time. The quality of your life is largely determined by the quality of your time management. If you don't manage your time wisely, your quality of life will suffer. Think of your time as a limited resource that you have to invest. You can invest it to do high quality, excellent things. You can also invest it to gain knowledge, to gain skills, so that you are ready to take advantage of excellent opportunities that come your way. You can also squander and waste that time doing mundane things. The quality of your life is a simple equation. The more time you spend doing the best you can with what you've been given, the better your quality of life will be. Some people are lucky. They were born with or have acquired better opportunities in life, but that's not what this is about. It's not a measure of how well you stack up against everyone else or how they stack up against you. It's a measure of how well you stack up against yourself. Reason number three to not waste time. Your time is best spent getting ready for opportunities that might come your way. If you waste time by not being ready, you will miss out on those opportunities because you won't be ready to handle them when they do crop up. When an opportunity strikes, we need to be ready to act. That's what law number nine in the way of excellence system is all about. Law number nine states, one must constantly prepare themselves so they are ready to act when desirable opportunities come their way. Like favors to prepared as opportunities won't always wait. Life and death are of supreme importance. Time swiftly passes by and opportunities are either taken advantage of or they're lost. Each of us should strive to awaken. Awaken, take heed, do not squander your life. When the time comes to act, you not only need to be ready to act, you need to actually act when the opportunity comes your way. As Bruce Lee said, your time is best spent getting things done. If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. This is addressed in law number 10 in the way of excellence system. Law number 10 states, envisioning, attracting, and preparing for desirable opportunities will accomplish nothing if one fails to take action upon said opportunities. Do not wait for things to come to you. Instead, take action. Make it happen. Set appropriate goals and then take appropriate action toward the realization of said goals. Again, think of all of this as an equation. The more time, energy, and resources we devote to getting ready, which is law number nine, and the more we actually take action when opportunities come our way, which is law number 10, the more we will get done and the greater our quality of life will be. And then there's reason number four to not waste time. Your time is best spent on the good things in life, on the excellent things. If you waste that time on things that are not excellent, you won't have enough time left over to focus on that which is excellent. You're going to miss out and when you do come to the end of your finite time, you will probably be filled with regret. One of the most expensive things in life is regret. I don't know about you, but I consciously choose to devote as much of my 86,400 seconds each day toward excellent things 
so that when I do reach my ultimate expiration date, I will look back and be filled with pride and joy on all that I've accomplished instead of being filled with regret for all the time, energy, and resources I've wasted. It wasn't always that way for me. In fact, much of the first 50 years of my life was spent and wasted. All too often, but fortunately not all the time, I used my time, energy, and resources poorly. Many opportunities passed me by. But fortunately, on February 1st, 2009, I woke up and I consciously chose to change the way I spend my limited time, energy, and resources. And in my opinion, the results have been nothing short of miraculous. You too can do the same if you consciously choose to. Are you ready for more? If so, please make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on my picture in the lower right corner at the end of this video. That way you'll be notified as I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Please be sure to watch our videos all the way to the end as the stuff at the end is usually just as important as the stuff in the beginning, if not more. I would also appreciate you leaving your comments below so I can learn more about each and every one of you and your personal journey toward excellence. I will do my best to respond promptly. Take care.